You can view and comment on our class blog. Search Sean Teaches, one word of course, and our website should pop up. Here there are a bunch of links at the top. Our class blog is right there. That's our link. So here we are in the blog. And here on this entry, right, we could read through it. There's a video. It's taking a, a moment to pop up, but there it is. Here are some questions to think about. And you want to leave a comment. So you might want to click a reaction. And the comments, well, click here where it says zero comments. A separate window should pop up and you want to leave your comment. Now when you leave a comment be sure to enter in of course the word verification. For the, your identity you can remain anonymous. However if you're in my class I do want to know that it was you who left a comment. So up here you can sign with your first name if there are two of you in the class, include the first letter of your last name and put your class in as well. This way I'll know it was you that left a comment. Scroll down, click publish your comment, and then you have this message, of course, telling you that your, your comment has been saved. Now since this is a class blog, I usually review a post before or a comment before I post it. So I'll look at the comment, I'll get it in my email, and then if I approve, if I think it's thoughtful and it's appropriate for class, I'll approve it. So don't panic if you don't see your comment right away. Of course you can leave comments for extra credit, so feel free to scroll back to any of our old entries, look at old student problems, old ideas from class, and continue the conversation on those posts. The more thoughtful the comment, the more credit you'll get. Right? It's really important that with mathematics, we actually contribute and continue and expand and reflect and give insight onto our ideas. Right? It's all about collaboration and, and offering your, your thoughts. Oops. All right. Hope that helped.